assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am odoo technical developer in this video we are going to talk about automated actions in odoo we will explain automated actions uh, with an example uh, so that you can understand it better so automated actions are used to trigger actions uh, they are based on conditions you will have to define certain conditions like uh, when the action should be triggered and uh, they happen on the top of Odoo's default business logic so for example uh, let me give you an example like for example you want to send an email to a customer whenever you uh, create a quotations uh, against that, that customer so you can achieve this easily uh, just by creating automated actions without any uh, python code so example of automated actions are uh, creating uh, an activity upon course confir confirmation it a user is a follower of the confirmed invoice if its total is higher than a certain amount for example you want to add uh, some higher um, authority uh, person as a follower of the invoice if the amount is greater than a certain amount you can add uh, some uh, specific condition here like uh, to send an email to the um, user uh, if the amount is greater than uh, that specific amount are preventing a lead from changing the state if the field is not filled for example if the email is not filled then it should not you should not allow the user to change the field so we will ex explain this example uh, right after in Odoo so in this uh, example first of all we will have to uh, add a server action to send an email to a user now send an email to a partner whenever we create a new quotation so for example let me first create a quotation so that i can show you what is the default behavior of odoo uh, for example let me add any product here and then let me click the save button so here at the bottom you can you can see no email has been sent out from odoo let me go to the settings to verify if any email has been sent out and then go to the technical and then emails for this purpose you will have to turn on the debug mode so in order to uh, activate the debug mode you will have to add question mark after a web and then debug is equal to one and then uh, state and then hash so then uh, you will be able to see the technical uh, menu and then click uh, um, email so here you we cannot see any email so uh, the email has not been sent so let me just go to uh, automated actions so here at, at the bottom you will see automation and then automated actions so let me click the create button so here first of all i will have to add the name like send email to customer and then i will have to add the model like where i want to trigger the action i want to trigger the action in the sale order model like this one which one is the sale dot order this one is a sale order model and then uh, we will have to add certain condition like uh, what what uh, operation uh, we need to add like for example at what operation we want to perform this action to do so i will explain this action to do later like for example you want to trigger this action to do on the basis of the creation of the record on the updation of the record or uh, any of the both are deletion based on form modification or based on timed conditions so for timed conditions means like a cron job so it will uh, uh, it will based on the time interval that you set so here uh, i will select on the creation of the record i will uh, I want to send an email so here in the action to do I will select uh, this send email and then a new field will appear here like email template so here you will have to add the email template which you want to use uh, while sending the email so here already three email uh, templates are uh, been uh, developed for this uh, sale order and uh, here let me just uh, use the third one you can create your own template also but that uh, is a lengthy topic and i will explain in some other video so for example let me just uh, select this uh, template and then let me save this record so after this let me go to sale order and then let me create any sale order so click the create button and then select the customer so for example i want to select this customer 
and then let me add any product uh, like this one and then let me click the save button so after clicking the save button the email will be sent automatically so let me scroll down so here you can see hello the quotation uh, order number accounting in uh, 2950 is ready for review don't hesitate to contain so this is the email template that was set on the automated action so and on creation of this sale order the email has been sent automatically to this customer so let me just verify here uh, by going into the settings and then technical um, this one and then technical and then emails so let me see here so here you can see this email has been generated automatically it has not been sent uh, yet because uh, we have not uh, set the outgoing mail server so you will have to configure the outgoing mail server in order to uh, send the email out of Odoo so uh, this is just one example of uh, automated action I, in the upcoming videos I will explain uh, this automated action with another example so thank you guys for watching this video in uh, order to get the notification of the upcoming videos please don't uh, forget to subscribe the channel and also click the bell icon thank you